everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is the racing review, reviewing all the racing action around the country from the weekend. And there's a very special horse that I think, well, that I need to address. Uh, and it is the horse to follow for the weekend, but we'll get into him later. But let's get into the review and go through who I think were the performances to follow. Uh, the best performances of the weekend and the slightly disappointing performances and the value selection of the weekend. Let's get into it and I hope you enjoy it. The extreme best performance of the weekend has to go by far to Stern Idol. Had one start in Australia over the Giants winning by a big space and repeated the dose again on the weekend at Pakenham. And the first one was at, first win sorry, was at Warnable and didn't matter the track. Didn't matter the conditions, they were the same. The jockey was the same. Absolutely bolted in. And this horse, I think, is going to be going to the Grand Annual now. But I don't think he'll he'll be very competitive. And I think he's going to be a very, very good winning chance. But he might have a danger. And let's get into who he's going to, his, is going to be. His biggest, his biggest danger will be addressed later on in the video. But by far, Stern, Stern Idol on top as the extreme best performance of the weekend because he absolutely trounced them first best performance we're going to take a look at is giga kick had queries over its one the trainer did heavy track down the flemington straight over straight over a thousand meters the track dried out to a soft seven and i'm so happy it did for this horse because it absolutely gave them a galloping lesson two from two now I think this horse can go right to the top and be a state competitive class horse. And just wait till this horse gets Jamie Carr on it because she will ride this horse at some point. It's going to go very well. The next best performance we're going to take a look at is the Danger to Stern Idol in the Grand Annual. And it is Sauna Boy. He's absolutely a monster at the jumping caper. I think he's at 11 starts for 9 wins and he's just an absolute bomb. You know, I mean, he was set around the dollar thirty-five favorite today, but he was just very, very good, very controlled. Steve Pateman, they just get along so well, and and yeah, just jumped like a very good horse and won like a very good horse. And to be honest, had a lot of class on his rivals, and Julie trounced them. And I think that yes, Stern Idol is going to be very, very competitive in the Grand Annual, but he's still got to beat this horse in. Sauna Boy, who I think will go there now after that very dis uh, impressive display over the jumps at Pakenham. The best value performance of the weekend has to go to Skiffios. He paid double figure odds and he beat the uh, short price famous in Kwong Tree. Hadn't showed anything in his form. He had four starts for nothing and then came out and won here. And the trainer actually said he'd been running him over the short distances of his best. Got the probably what was the right distance of an 1800 meter race, a semi staying event, and won. And for a horse of his age, being a very young horse, two, two, year, old, two year old or three year old, I think, uh, he did very well and he's now booked his spot in the Group 1 Victoria Derby in, de, in, in November on the third day of the carnival. And I can't wait to see how he goes and his preparation to lead up to it. but Definitely best value performance of the weekend. The disappointing performance runner of the weekend is Fluorescent Star. It was well in the market. Uh, it was originally opened at seven fifty by the TAB and backed into actually three ninety equal favourite. Didn't jump equal favourite with Bill the Boxer, but was still right up and had been back prior to the jump. And I honestly thought it was very disappointing considering off the run it pulled out a couple of weeks back behind Serious Suspect and Sartorius. But it had the form stack up with Sartorius Splendor running very well at Caulfield a couple of weeks ago. Um, so, yeah, I just had to put her as the disappointing performance. I mean, considering she was in the market and didn't really fire, that's the main reason. Disappointing performance of the weekend. And the unluckiest performance of the weekend is Bill the Box, and I'm sorry for bringing this up for so many people who backed Bill the Boxer, had him in your quaddies, I myself backed him each way, and I had him one out in my quaddy, I had the other three legs all stitched up and fine, and it came down to him, and he was beaten not even by a millimetre, it was half a millimetre, or a very, very, very 
very short margin, and it just shows you short price favourites don't always win. But he wasn't a short price favourite. He was uh, at backable odds, but Nicolini Vito, it just shows that is a very good horse. And Bill the Boxer showed his class, and I didn't think lose lost sorry any admirers at all. And the horse to follow for the weekend is a uh, first starter in the name of Larrikin Rogue, raced by TRL Racing, won under Steph Thornton for Chris Anderson in Brisbane up on the Sunshine Coast. And considering that this horse missed the start by three lengths, ran in the field up and won running away, it reminded me when I watched the race, of Winx's Sunshine Coast Guineas win. Now, I'm not saying that this horse is anything like Winx. You know, she won multiple group ones and was a very, very good horse. But the market knew with this horse was $1.75 after opening a $1.90. And they didn't really want any other horse. And considering it showed that much power, that much presence on debut, I really think this horse is something very, very special and can go on with it. And by far, definitely, horse to follow the weekend.